All right, we're here with uh, Terry and Gilbert Gonzalez at Republic Title in Frisco, and uh, the Gonzalez just signed papers uh, for the sale of their home, and uh, I invited them to uh, share a little bit with us today about how their experience uh, went and uh, what led them to uh, to sell their home and how the whole experience went, went for them. So, uh, congratulations, uh, Terry and Gilbert. Uh, what a great, uh, um, uh, I guess, month it's been here to get your home sold and. You've actually been down to Austin and found a house down there while this was all going on and so sure. forth. But uh, just tell us a little bit about what uh, uh, what prompted you to want to sell your house. What happened? Uh, I know you took a job uh, in Austin, right, Terry? New job with James Avery. Dream job. Um, awesome. So yeah, we were very anxious in getting to Austin as quickly as possible, and it uh, was a no-brainer for us. We reached back and found you, Cliff, um, after helping us buy this house a few years ago. There was nobody we would have considered except to help us sell this house. So a phone call to you, and the ball was rolling, and literally within three weeks we prepared the house, staged the house, um, sold the house, and have found a house in Georgetown. Yeah. That's great. All in a three-week period. Yeah. So when you, were, when you first learned you were going to have to move to Austin, what, kind of, what was going through your mind about trying to get a house sold? Well, you know, you walk out the front door of our house, look left and right, and there are signs and lots of yards. And so I think there was some anxiety, at least I felt a little bit of anxiety about how our house would uh, kind of fit into the market and if we could be uh, positioned in a way that would um, make our house special and sell it. Uh, and it, understanding that there's a lot of competition in the neighborhood. Right. And, and those houses that were on the market when your house went on, how long had those houses been on the market? Sorry. They've been they've been on the market anywhere from three to six months. Three to six months. And, and six there months. have been houses that have been on the market and then taken off and repeatedly, you know, people pulling them off for a period of time and yeah. them back on. So. Do you remember about when the last time a house sold over in your neighborhood? Uh, I think I think it's Jeannie and yeah, Jeannie, Jeannie and Keith, are, our neighbors across the street, bought bought the house about a year ago. Yeah. yeah. About a year ago. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. So it's, it hasn't been a lot of activity in there. Right. Yeah. Right. Okay. Right. Yeah. Um, and so, uh, so you called me, and then we met, and we, we, we had a little strategy meeting about where to price it and, and how to market it and so forth. And mm -hmm. so we put the, let's see, if I recall, we put the house on the MLS Friday night, and then that Saturday uh, morning, we started getting sewing, showing setups, and I think we had, was it six? There were six of them. Six showings on Saturday. And, and, then, and then one subsequently later on that evening, uh -huh. a repeat showing. A repeat, second showing. Yeah. And then Sunday, there were additional there showings. There were four showings on Sunday. Four showings. So we had uh, 11 showings total with one being a repeat. Yeah. Uh, and then at the end of Sunday, uh, I guess we had a couple of interested parties that turned into uh, multiple offers for the house. Correct. And um, what we did is we, we resolved that with uh, asking them for a higher, uh, their highest and best offer. We had a party that stepped up and uh, put in a great offer that was actually slightly over list price, That's right? right. Okay, and uh, the folks that bought the house, very good buyers, uh, you know, very strong buyers. Uh, we set it for a 30-day closing, which is today. Uh, this is uh, November 30th. Mm -hmm. And uh, in the meantime, so we went under contract there and dealt with all the, the, uh, the process of that, but you guys had gone down and made, what, three trips down to Austin in the meantime yeah. and, and uh, picked out a house there and had one under contract. And tell us about that. Are you, uh, when are you gonna be, you're moving today, going back to Austin, and. And then when are you going to move into your new house in Austin? Well, it's uh, we close on the 11th. Of uh, December. Of December 11th, a couple of weeks. And then uh, due to the requirements of the current homeowner, uh, he has to stay in the house until the end of December. Uh -huh. So we've negotiated that in uh, to our contract. So we've got a lease back. Lease back. And then after he moves out the 1st of January, we're, we will go through and probably replace carpet. Okay. And do some painting and do some uh, touch-ups before we move in. Okay. So we'll move in third, maybe fourth week of January 2013. That's that's awesome. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah. So great. So what would you say, what, what were some of the, just one or two of the things that, that, that were the that were the best part of this whole experience for you? I, if I could jump in first and just say, um, our first meeting with you relative to selling this house, I think that the fact that you came to the table with so much information for us about our specific neighborhood, about what was happening um, on the seller or on the market, but for me, it was uh, introducing the concept of staging. Um, you know, I thought I had the house looking pretty good, 
but bringing in professional stagers, I think, really put us in a great position. Uh, it was amazing the difference between what I thought was a house ready to be put on the market and what professional stagers uh, taught me. Uh, so that was the first thing. And then to bring in a professional photographer uh, that I think really made the house very appealing. We have met our, um, our buyers and one of the things that she expressed to me was that when she looked at on her phone, I looked at the pictures of our house, she said she knew immediately she had to get into that house. So the photographs really sold the house, ultimately the staging and the photographs. I, th I think there were two, two real key points. Uh, typically, uh, a realtor will come to us with a, with a comparative market analysis and tell you what's on a market, what's been sold, what's active, and you know, you pick a price. Uh, I liked your approach as far as using the absorption uh, method, showing us uh, essentially how some of these prices were, were overpriced, some of these houses were overpriced. And for the kind of money that they were asking for in our neighborhood, you could go a little further north and buy something new. I think, uh, I think that was real critical in pricing the house right. Uh, in my conversations with some of our neighbors who have houses for sale, you know, I, I, I take them to task as to whether they're really serious about selling the house or if they're just putting it out there just to see what happens. Uh, in this economy, with these conditions that we have, uh, we saw some overpriced houses and we realized that that was the reason, the primary reason that they were still on the market. That was one of our concerns of putting a house up for sale amidst all of this activity. I think the second thing that was pretty critical is you, you kind of modified the, uh, the approach to where we had uh, multiple offers that weren't uh, quite up to the list price because we knew we were pricing the house to sell. And I think your technique of inviting each of the realtors that had submitted offers to submit their highest and best offers so that we could, we could review those instead of us going back and doing the good old boy method where we've got one prize, they've got a prize, and well, let's just split it down the middle, let's shake hands, let's fix up whatever we need to do. I, th I think the, uh, the uh, highest and best price invitation was very critical to where one of the guys realized uh, that uh, he needed to get off, off dead center and he offered us more than what our list price was. Uh, subsequently meeting them later, uh, we met his wife and she was really the driving force and saying, hey look, you better not let that one go. <laughs> so I think it was those two things, is pricing it right and, and being serious about selling mm -hmm. and being realistic about what is out in the market right now. Right. And then the, uh, the technique of, of uh, inviting the, um, the people making the offers to okay. do their highest and best offer so instead, of, instead of sending them a counter offer. Right, kind of thing. So that those were two, those were two most exciting things for me. Okay. And so Terry, you, you were thinking the way the house was prepared and staged and, and photographed and presented and, and positioned in the market among the competition was was really good. And then mm -hmm. Gilbert, if I heard you correctly, I, I kind of sensed that you you really got um, uh, uh, felt good about the way it was we negotiated yeah. the transaction. Yeah. Right. So having uh, some you know. Uh, experience on the negotiating side on how to get the best price out of people, uh, you felt that was a big benefit. I, I, thought, I thought that was a big benefit. Yeah. No no surprise that we should be looking at the negotiating side and she would be looking at the aesthetic side of things. So. <laughs> Perfect. Point? <laughs> yeah. no, that's your point. point. <laughs> so, but, and, and just, just so everybody will know, this is not the first home you've sold, correct? Correct. Okay. And in fact, you sold a home in Houston before we found the home this home for you here in Dallas. Exactly. Right. What was your experience like selling your home in Houston? It was it was a little it was different. It, it was difficult. Uh, we felt like our uh, our listing agent didn't have control of the of the process like we had control of this one, and uh, we we were getting through, through different stages, and we we're still wrangling all the way down, negotiating all the way down to closing at, the, at one point in time, and and. Uh, but it was, it was a matter of just how they approached the transaction and uh, how they controlled the events that were going on. Today. Okay. So. Did you feel like the communication and your comfort level with what was going on during this transaction was satisfactory? Oh, absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Great. Yeah. And so I guess uh, as far as the outcome, are you, are you pleased with the outcome? Yeah. 
We're uh, yes, we, we are. We're, we're, <laughs> we're, uh, we're we're thrilled with it. Yeah. We're thrilled with it. Uh, in, in these economic times, for things to click along and, and to go along like they're supposed to, uh, I, th I think besides uh, you know taking a, a great job that puts us closer to her parents, which is another one of the uh, big considerations of uh, moving down there to begin with. We love Dallas. Uh, there's things here that we're going to miss doing, but but I think our calling is to move closer to our my in-laws, her parents, and. Uh, you know, just thank you very much for all your help, your guidance. Well, you're welcome, and thank you for the privilege of being able to work with you. I, uh, again, I, I appreciate you uh, uh, calling me to, to ask me for some help uh, when you decided to move again, and, and uh, I'm just looking forward to seeing that new uh, uh, house you guys are going to move into. I've seen pictures of it. It's beautiful down in Austin. Hopefully, we'll get a chance to, to visit down there sometime soon. So, thank you guys very much. Thank and, you, uh, Cliff. Congratulations on your sale and your purchase of your